Greetings from QE and welcome. We'll go about how to enable SST function in QE Optimum with the government's reintroduction of SST in lieu of GST. Before we proceed, do take note it is only available on the latest version of the software. Do remember to do an online update before proceeding with the video. Let's begin by first going to the top left corner of the screen and click on File. Look for Modules. Upon clicking, the window for the Module Manager will open up. Please make sure that the following box is checked. Once it is checked, remember to save and close. Go to the navigation bar and look for GST, SST, under here, go to Settings. Please check the Enable SST box and upon saving, a text code window will appear. Please select either sales or services depending on what your company is registered under. Once you have keyed in the respective percentage, click on OK. Before applying, you will notice full account code will be generated and it will automatically be applied to the correct tax code. And lastly, don't forget to apply. Once it has been successfully applied, you will see here that the effective date is set to September 1st, 2018. By going to the chart of accounts, you can then search and type in SST. You will be able to see that the SST settings have been successfully applied. There will be an SST tax code usage guide for each of the four individual tax code generated. Please refer at the end of the video. To know where the account is being posted, you can go back to tax code under GST SST. By searching and typing in SST, you would then be able to zoom in and see where it is posted to. As mentioned before, here are the SST text code usage guide. This guide will show you how and when to apply the tax code. For expenses service tax, user can use this tax code when there is a service receive charges. Purchase tax, if there are any sales tax charge during purchases of product. Service tax, if there is any sales tax charge during selling process. Sales tax for service provider charge, service tax to the consumer. That's all for this tutorial. Hope to see you all next time.